Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. It's time for another Dollar Tree DIY. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be using the um, candy jar. We're also going to be using this ribbon here from the Dollar Tree. And then we're going to be using the Arteza markers. I've got it in uh, black, orange, and pink. Can you tell what I'm making? It is going to be for my hot cocoa bar. I'm going to fill this with marshmallows. And I want to keep it food safe. If I weren't going to keep it food safe, I would definitely paint the top of this um, with some black, probably spray paint, to make it look like a little hat. But as of right now, I'm just going to leave it clear. I think it's still going to be as cute as ever. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take this and I just have a little holder so that we can take care of that. And this holds this in place for me. And I think so you can see that as well. And what we're going to do, we're going to start off here with a cute little uh, nose here and these are my uh, Arteza acrylic paints so I'm just gonna go ahead and go up on some and down on some and it's just leaving that acrylic paint right on there and we've got our nose <laughs> and then we're going to give him some little cheeks now will this turn this into a girl i'm not real sure but we're just going to add some nice cheeks here the same on this side there we go this is really quick, really easy. We've got our black. This is non-toxic, which is nice. We're going to give him a nice smile. And then once we add these eyes, it's just going to make him pop, right? And if we wanted, that doesn't look like it's just a girl it looks like it's fine now if you want to make him a girl we'll just add eyelashes let me show you I'm gonna leave mine a boy I may do a girl in the future but we'll see so you've got your eyes there you just add some little eyelashes and that's gonna make it into a lovely little girl there can you see it <laughs> so you can do this. I want to do some ornaments and I'll show you those as well. So we've got that taken care of and then we'd have the lid. Again, if it were a boy, maybe I would um, put this with some black acrylic there or um, again, some black spray paint. And But I'd fill it with maybe some wrapped peppermints or something like that. And now all we're going to do is we're going to take some of the ribbon here. I love that buffalo checks. And I took about two feet. So it's a good amount. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors and we are going to cut up here. Just cut up. Um, maybe an inch or so and just cut those all the way up and then I'll show you what we do and then I'm going to cut right up against that black um, that is um, I can't think of it see now you guys could see my face when I completely go blank. But we're gonna cut that off there. It's wired, that's what I was gonna say. 
and we're going to cut this part off as well just like that now this is where it gets messy because we're going to have all these little fibers everywhere and you just start pulling these little fibers out and you pull and you pull and can you see what that's doing it's giving it a nice frayed edge right there and so you're gonna have this nice frayed edging and it's gonna look like a little scarf so we've got all that off there we go and just get rid of all that little frayed edging but look how cute that is so adorable looks just like a scarf right so then we're going to take this guy and i know you can't see it real well but we're going to take this and we're going to wrap it around here if you want to you can hot glue it you do not need to we're just going to set that around the edge now what you want to watch is this part here because it is um, I forgot again. <laughs> it, it has the wire in there. So you get to make this go however you'd like. So if you want to turn it back this way and having all go the same way, you can. So you just tie it a little bit going however you'd like. But look at how cute that is. It looks like it's blowing in the wind. And I just think it's adorable. I'm gonna throw some marshmallows on here, make a nice little cocoa bar for the winter. And I just think it's adorable. Now, I'm gonna leave that just like that and I will get a picture for you. All right, that was a super quick DIY. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope that you will give me a big thumbs up for my Dollar Tree DIY that cost all of $2 for the supplies. I had my acrylic markers, but they do sell acrylic paint at the Dollar Tree. If you like these markers, I will put my link down below so that you can go ahead and purchase some for yourself. All right, beauties, have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye.